Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode of Inside the Hem. I'm working on decorating my new sewing room and my first DIY is this little bench that I use as a coffee table. Today I'm gonna to show you how to reupholster it. It's super simple and it gives the whole thing a much updated look. Here's what you'll need. Drill or Phillips head screwdriver, hammer, pliers, flat head screwdriver, staple gun, scissors, and adorable fabric. Let's pause to admire the fabric a little more. I got this super cute large scale gingham from Spoonflower. If you don't know, Spoonflower is an online custom fabric wallpaper and gift wrap company that specializes in printing unique designs that are sourced from the community onto a variety of textiles and other mediums. They have more than half a million designs to choose from, so I always know that I'll find what I want. Need dog fabric? Here you go. Need food fabric? They've got that. If you can dream it up, they've got it. You can also upload your own designs and sell them if you've got a skill set for that kind of stuff. Anyway, Spoonflower is awesome and I love my gingham. Okay, back to the bench. The first step is to remove the base. You'll want to use your drill or Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws. Sometimes, depending on how old the bench is, the screws will be stripped. So you can buy a kit from the hardware store that will help you get them out. Just be patient and careful with them so that you don't destroy the wood base underneath. Luckily, mine was in good shape, so I unscrewed them quickly. Next, you'll need to remove all this old upholstery. Use your flathead screwdriver to wedge out the old staples. These first few came out pretty easily, but for the stubborn ones, you'll need to use the pliers to pull the staple out. found some little nails in my board as well, so I used my hammer to pull those out. You basically just want a clean slate and a smooth board. Once you've got all the fabric off, you'll most likely find some batting and foam. Inspect these and see if any of it can be reused. I ended up keeping the foam but replacing the batting easy enough. Lay your fabric wrong side up, then the batting, then the foam, and finally your wooden baseboard. Starting with the center of one of the long edges, pull the fabric very taut and staple about two inches away from the edge. Do the same thing to the opposite side. We're only stapling one staple in the center of each edge at this point. Now repeat that step for each of the short sides. This is a good time to check how your fabric is placed. My fabric is obviously very linear and I want to make sure that my gingham isn't crooked. If you have a random design on your fabric, this step isn't as important. If your fabric needs to be adjusted at all, just pull out the staples and start over, no big deal. Once you're happy with the placement of your design, continue to staple the fabric onto the board, starting with the long edges and then the short. It's most important to continue to pull the fabric very taut around the foam. When you get to a corner, you'll pull the fabric over the corner first and then fold over each side on itself. Sort of like making a bed. Continue stapling everything. You can go in with a hammer to really enforce the staples if you need to. Next, you'll want to take some fabric scissors and trim off the excess. I'm cutting to within about one inch of where the staples are. Use some nice scissors here as in the corners you'll be cutting through 10 layers. Now, take the legs or base of your bench and put it back on the board. You'll want to be really careful to center it and make sure all of the edges are covered. Then, take your screws and secure the base back to the board. If your screws were stripped when you started, get fresh new screws this time. 
Start in one corner and screw in the screw about halfway. Then go to the corner opposite of that one and do the same thing. This is to make sure your board doesn't slide while you're securing it. Finally, attach the remaining screws and tighten everything really well. It's that easy, y'all. I see little benches like this all the time at Goodwill and other thrift shops. As you can see, they're super easy to update. And good news for all of you. Spoonflower has generously created a coupon code exclusively for my viewers. Use the code INSIDETHEHEM10 for 10% off your purchase through the month of August. Next week, I'll be back to show you my next DIY project also featuring a Spoonflower product and it's not fabric. I'm seriously so excited about it and can't wait to show you. See you soon. Bye.